Hey everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green and in the last one we got Blueberry who I've now brought up to level 15 and now knows Flyle and today we are going through Mount Moon which just I am quite excited for I mean, it's going to be a bit of a gauntlet, as I've said several times, but we can make it. Now, I kind of know what all the encounters are for this area, because I've I spent about an hour grinding them. Okay, maybe not that, that half an hour, actually. Mostly because, like, half the stuff actually wasn't feasible to grind on. Sort of ditto appears in this cave, which is just awesome. I love ditto. Okay, it really might be worth having someone else up out front because the color is just going to be really high. Ugh. Yeah, stuff like Sudo Wudo. Honestly, I can't wait for the area that has Squirtle. Like, I really hope I can get that, get a Squirtle. Any starter would be nice, but Squirtle's literally my favourite Pokemon, so. How do I never remember to set a tire? <laughs> Okay, what horrible legend do you have this time? Entrepreneur Antoinette. Okay. So I've just got something kind of, shall we say, terrible about Blueberry. For one, it evolves at level 27. And two, it's only natural electric type move is Spark, meaning I'm going to have to grind in the casino for Thunderbolt. That's going to be a pain. But we need, we need a water type, so if we can just keep Blueberry alive. Like, I remember when I played through original Silver a bit, um, Chanchar was a pain, but I think it's a bit stronger this time. Ah, oh, nice, a flinch. I don't know, it's a really, it's part of what I really like. It's quite cute, but... Damn, is it worth it? Of course there's an item there. Talk about items, do I have enough? Oh yeah, I think that'll get me for the cave. I might have a pop to the Pokemon Center though, just before I like, really dive in properly. Just because, if, you know, if there's any like, danger, because like, there are just a lot of battles in this place. I'm also hoping to get a Moonstone. So I've looked up Nidoking's learns, and Nidoking has considerably less learns than uh, what Grape is currently. I think it's Nidor... I always forget Nidorino and Nidorino uh, mixed up. But the mood, the learns I can have if I don't evolve by level 22, I actually don't care about. Like, it's nothing particularly special. So, we'll be having a fully evolved Pokemon really soon. Assuming Grape doesn't die. I... am losing my mind. I'm just gonna, like... <laughs> for the sake... of simplicity. See, see how much better that is? 
We can just, we can just try and, uh, Blueberry later. We'll check, we'll check Blueberry out of one of the trainers. Yeah, we'll start checking Blueberry at trainers. Have a light deal with the wild ones. Hope I'll do Mark and I'm gonna show up. Oh, I didn't realize you were a trainer. I am, I am just bad at this. Designer Esteban? Okay. Suncat! I mean, I guess Icy Wind you, that's, you're not a problem. Yep, that was, that was easy. <laughs> I've never actually used a sun card. Like, that's a Pokemon I kind of like. I've just never found it to use Oh, an overnight! I just icy when I get the job done. Um, I don't know where I'll be today's episode, but I'd quite like to get Misty done next episode. Um, just because... That's quite a nice pace at a gym every three. It means that I might have to do um, No Get Bridge the episode after. When I feel like most people typically do No Get Bridge. I'm going to swap to Blueberry. Most people typically do No Get Bridge before. I usually do. But I'm kind of not wanting to be overpowered. But I feel like I'm going to be around the right level. Rich Boy Zoe. Obligatory legend? Why? Oh, no, that's actually... That's actually kind of dangerous. If that used fun, like Thunderbolt or something. Would a level 11 Zapdos have Thunderbolt? No, it has Peck. Well, I know Double Kick wouldn't be effective. Why did I do that? Oh, well. No, it has Shark. The great god of lightning merely zaps you. Oh. I don't want to swap out anymore because I don't want to distrib keep distributing the XP. Why was Peck the most useful? Nice. Blueberry up to level 16. You hit him on top. I think I'm gonna heal up. I mean, I'll have, I'm gonna have to heal Grape anyway. Swap into... Yeah, okay, now I'll swap into Light Shake. I was hoping Poison Point would happen. I think Nido King keeps Poison Point. It better keep Poison Point. I mean, regardless of whether it does or not, I'm devolving to Nido King. But, like, I really hope it keeps it. It's, you know, easily one of the best abilities for me. Double team, double team, double team. <gasps> Why is revenge such a terrible move? Also, why did I use a dark time move? I'm s I don't think my brain's fully with me. This is what anxiety feels like. I see wind. Well, that was scary. Um, that was not a big brain moment. Oh, good. 
Oh. So that you just watched me make several terrible misplays in a row. And I'm really not sure why I did that. A rare candy. I think I might... S Ooh, should I save it? I feel like I should save it. I'm not gonna fight you. You're not gonna give me enough experience. What's up here? Again... An escape rope, actually useful. Hmm. There's a dude up there. Might go down and fight the bug catcher. Whooper. Now I'm already here, I may as well fight this guy. Or fight the random Pokemon the game decides to throw at me. Oh. Well, that was a complete waste of time. I just... Okay, it's the eternal joke. It's the eternal complaint that the encounter rate in the Gemlin Caves is nightmarish. But, oh, it's just terrible. It's not, you're nowhere near as bad as you think it is until you start to actually play it. Gee, it would have been nice to have an electric type move. I feel like I... Well, that was effective. <laughs> I feel like I should focus energy at some point soon. Like, we're getting from the Pokemon. Level 20, nice. Now, if Grape survives until the final gym, we do get Earth Pike. Oh, hi! <laughs> Yeah, we do get Earthquake in the final gym. Which will basically just make Nido King nearly invincible. Oh, you turd. Was that necessary? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. It's really not fine. <laughs> um, I'm sorry if you hear any background noise. I have to have my window open. Ventilation. Okay. Oh. Um, so that's the kind of like the next part of it, like the progression, because that was a Team Rocket grunt. I'm ignoring the area for now, because I actually want to properly explore. Oh, a shift tray. This is going to go very easily. It's kind of an awkward looking sprite. That's not, that's not the nicest looking Gen 3 sprite, I have to say. Oh, I need a clean. Oh no, I don't remember what poison and ground, how poison and ground works against Ice and uh, uh Well, apparently. <laughs> Headbutt. Mm. Do I need it? Um I I suppose it's stronger than than bite. But having a dark type news really helped me out. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. 
Oh, I'm gonna regret this. I am instantly going to regret this. I've instantly regretted this. <laughs> no, no, I've made a terrible mistake. I'm sure I'll be fine. As I've said this before, I'm not really planning on playing this game optimally. I'm just having fun. I know some people are going to get so annoyed at me for that, like... <gasps> okay! I'll come on to that in a second, but like, I know some people are going to get so mad on me on that, because, well... They like games being played optimally, but I just don't, and this is my let's play, and... You know, obviously I want you guys to watch it, but... It... If you guys want a game being played a certain way, find someone who will play it that game, or play it yourself? Not to come off as rude, like. But I'm playing this my way. Anyway. <laughs> I'm healing Grape up. Wait. Moon set up in there. Our first evolution! This is going to be such a good Pokemon to have so early on. I've used the Nido Queen, I've never actually used a King. If I'm not mistaken, Nido King was one of the best Pokemon in original Gen 1. I think... I think it was best only under Alakazam and Mewtwo. And it's just such a good design. I love Nido King's design. Let's have a look at it. I should have checked stats before I changed it. It still has poison point. Okay, let's compare. It has double stats of blueberry. My cheese pretty high. Also, I'm just thinking, I was like, oh, we have a fully evolved Pokemon. We have Lychee. We've always had a fully evolved Pokemon. Now, I'm going to give Lychee a break because... Not been, not been an easy time to be Lychee right now. What's that Hiker? I bet that Hiker was a battle. Oh, a Dusclops. A great time to show off Grape. Who? Grape! Grape! Grape's poison. Grape's poison ground, right? Yeah, of course it is. Why did I check that? I think it's Giovanni's Ace. Don't hold me to that. Obviously, it doesn't. It does not matter now. <laughs> it even has a cool back sprite. Like I'm not usually one to comment on back sprites, but even even his back sprite gives off an intimidating vibe. And just like that. A rather easy to swap to the down. Ah. More Team Rocket. I think I'm going to tackle this with Blueberry. Then, little kids should be messing around with grown ups. Could be bad news. Ch Chief Joe. And two gong. Ugh. That's not a fun. That's I love new gong. Uh, do new gong. Do gong. I new gong was the name. My do gong and crystal clear. But well, let's give you proper Or not. Hmm. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, gonna, I'm going to supersonic. Yeah. Oh. I have icy winds. No. You're not allowed to use it. Only I can use it. You have paralysis and confusion. Come on, mate. Now, fly all more damage at power. 
Right, yeah. I just need... Oh, good. I'm gonna keep flying it. That was ineffective. Uh. Come on. <laughs> Please. I actually intended to change the bubble line. Okay, okay, now I will switch in. Blue Reach just having a hard time of it. I mean, it's next to two really powerful Pokemon. I'm not, I'm not surprised it's having a hard time of it, honestly. <laughs> I really, like... This is where I break back out, Lychee, because Salamence is a dragon type. <laughs> oh. I bet my Pokedex looks absolutely ridiculous. I go to Professor and like, yo, Pokemon Professor, as everyone calls you, would, do you want to see my Pokedex? And he's like, yeah, sure. And I just come out here, like, so you've seen a Salamence, I was like, don't be cool, you've caught a Neo King, you have, you know, it's the most stupid thing. Um. Uh, Blueberry, Blueberry, you've just taken a beating. You really, really have. Why not? I'm not going to battle you. It has shadow tag. Ew. Wait, it's a psychic type. Why did I do that? Well, it's not like anything else I have. It'll do much better. Thanks for that. <laughs> I mean, regardless of what happens, you're going to die. What on earth is that noise? I'm really sorry if you hear background noise. I think the world is deciding to be angry today. If you could see the look on my face. If you could. Oh my. Just. Now I can send out Blueberry, but I'm just kind of scared of sending out Blueberry. Yeah, I don't need to anyway. I should have left Mount Moon as soon as I could. <laughs> A reasonable Pokemon to have. I get more excited over this stuff. Oh no. Oh, oh yeah, it's a regular cocoon, of course, it only knows Harden. And it's only lower it's only right against defense, so uh Icy Wind should be fine. And the benefits of this physical special split. <laughs> well the pre physical special split. Although Icy Wind would still be effective, so what I said was nothing. I'm thinking I'm gonna print out like the type chart. Mm. Uh, I I can take it. I can take it. I think I'm gonna print out like the what types correlate with what stat. Just because I don't know, like I can assume, but I know I'll assume rock. Oh, I'm pretty much just prepped to take on the gym now. I 
Wait, is this? I think no. I think this is where the fossil is. The where, where's the bad guy guy lead to? I don't know. Yeah, this is fossil guy. I thought T Bro. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both fine. Yeah, I genuinely don't know. I'm not going back. I am absolutely not going back. I got the item I was looking for, which was Moonstone. Wait, was this randomized? Are you sure? Because that's a reasonable Pokemon for this guy to have. I, I think that might have been the Pokemon he has originally. I might be wrong on that, friend. Don't hold me to it. But, like, you know, scientists tend to have primers in these games. Grimes of hard. <laughs> Nobody likes a bit of hard slime. Now, getting these fox orbs are kind of useless because, like, no matter which one we choose, um, oh, a starter! No matter which one we choose, it's always just gonna kind of be. Oh, it's still disabled. It's always gonna be something random. I'm gonna pick up. A, you know, I'm going to try and use a fossil, but because that'll be quite high level BT member, presuming I make it that far. And it's quite far into the game, but it's not like we're like, oh, we get a Capito. Capito? Yeah, Capito. Or a Omanite. Thrash. This was the Moon Knight move I cared about. So it's just a high risk, high reward move. And I think I'm going to replace it with Peck, with Peck of it. And I'm probably going to keep Thrash around for a bit because that's basically just going to pretty much wipe out any Pokemon. Again, I regret taking, I regret getting rid of Bite, but to show you guys it. That was a one-hit kill, but like that, that's going to be really good to take get rid of some weak commands that could be a threat to the other two. Well, I'm taking the Lord and Savior. Yeah. Yes, I know uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon was relevant about five years ago. It's still funny to me. Uh, I might just... No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I think I'm near the end. Again, to reiterate the power of Thrash and why I made sure to pick it up... Now, the key part of Thrash is knowing what Pokemon to use on and when because confusion will just be really deadly. Although I could, I could do it, then swap out. Does the exit? It is. Who are you? Punch of Roaring Frosty. Pack Mega Punch the ultimate attack. You agree? Yes. Um, uh, okay. What? I guess I'll replace Double Kick Mega Punch. Is pun? Is that worth replacing anything? I suppose I'll learn a, a different time. What do you What do you teach? Mega Kick. What's the difference? I'm guessing they're the Hitmon signature moves. It's a 5 PP move. <laughs> it's a pretty powerful 5 PP move, but... Do I need it? Not really. <laughs> I don't think I care. Now... <gasps> Raw! Okay. Did I get the Route 4 encounter? I don't remember. Hang on.
fruit for Kanto. I don't think I did. No, I did not. I got a Route 3 encounter. Oh! Oh! Bledian! Mmm. Mmm. Please don't hurt Blueberry. Please don't hurt Blueberry. Please don't hurt Blueberry. I consider this an absolute win. Oh dear. Please, please, please. Oh. Well guys, I guess we're having a longer episode. You guys don't mind staying for an extra 10 minutes, do you? <laughs> can't use it again. I was using Thunder Wave. Come on. I hate confusion. I, it's just... It's a... You kidding? Come on. I might... Am I having legitimate problems? Catching this. I'm actually out of healing items. I might have to let this encounter go. Because I think Light Chi only has stuff that'll kill it. Of course. I'll throw a Pokeball at it. You know what? Yeah, I'll throw a Pokeball at it. We'll see what happens. I don't think it will. I expect it has a fairly decent catch, right? I stand corrected! When the stars flicker in the night sky, it blitters about, scattering a glowing powder. Scattering about. Now, I'd like to keep the fruit theme still. But it really looks like a carbon rider. I think you guys will forgive me for breaking the theme. It. Future me, please, please remember to put it in a Carmen Rider picture. It looks like Carmen Rider. Probably put it in at the end, I don't know. Um, Carmen Rider will be uh, another member of B Team because. Not gonna lie, I really don't feel like using a legend. Like, okay, it's a really cool Pokemon. I'm probably gonna bring it out of the box earlier and then I'll bring out Hitmonchan. And it'll. Oh, it's got a decent ability. But it's a squishy bug type, and I don't think we need a squishy bug type. Anyway, we've reached Cerulean. Um, I'm gonna just quick just do like my healing up and box maintenance, you know, put Kamen Rider away. I'll buy some potions of Pokeballs too. And I will end the episode here. I've already gone over a bit, so just quick ending. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed Mount Moon as much as I did. I've had a lot of fun with this episode actually. I'm getting, I've been getting really excited to record these videos and I'm so glad. These are really fun. Um... I'll see you guys next time.